Hey champions, this is Arian Tyson out of St. Louis, Missouri, representing Slick Town to the fullest. And I'm just coming back at you on this um, on this Veterans Day holiday um, to shoot a video. Um, first off, let me say um, that I salute and I uh, congratulate and I'm thankful for all of the veterans um, who have um, gave their lives for um, this country um, that we that I live in the United States um, and also um, for those that are currently serving in our armed services I have uh, several uh, family members, several friends, uh, several uh, business partners, uh, current and former, who um, are either serving in um, the military or are also um, or have been uh, or have served prior. So I'm just grateful um, for your for your service um, and you know for me being able to. Um, you know, enjoy the freedom that we have, you know, but I wanted to, I just wanted to encourage you today on this Veterans Day because um, on holidays like this, you are, um, you know, you, you, you're kind of, you kind of can't help but, you know, kind of think back to where you, where you, you know, you've come from, you know, how far you've come, you know, in your own journey. And that's normally what, um, days like Veterans Day and also days like, you know, Memorial Day, um, where you really think back to the sacrifices that have been made, you know, so that you are able to, you know, enjoy the life that, you know, that you desire. And in anything that we want out of life is going to require a sacrifice. And that's what I want to talk about today, um, briefly. And, and, you know, just ask you a question. What sacrifices are you willing to make for your dreams to come true? And let me preface my comments. We live in a world where, especially in this country, the United States, where We've seen a lot of um, we've seen a lot of things that you know can really uh, discourage us, you know. But we also have seen things that can uplift us as well. And the thing is, sometimes we take things for granted, like you know the ability to, you know have our own, you know, make our own choices, you know, we have freedom of choice, you know, and, you know, we have, um, to a certain degree, we have the right to bear arms, you know, and that, and there's so many other countless things that, you know, we often take for granted, you know, but we must understand that we have to be appreciative of the past. And the reason being, regardless to how it may frustrate us, you know, your past has played a direct part in where you are now, you know, and the, the challenge is to not stay living in the past. Um, you have to be able to appreciate the present moment um, also because if you're someone that, you know, specializes in living in the past, it will have a dire consequence on what your future can be. You know, we, we've gone through a lot in the United States as far as, you know, dealing with, uh, dealing with slavery, dealing with, you know, the Jim Crow era, um, you know, and, and even now in 2013, you know, racism and discrimination um, is still prevalent. It still exists, you know, because there are people that don't live in the present moment. They cling to the past 
And it's one thing to appreciate the past, but it's another thing to cling to it. And we're not supposed to cling to, you know, things that 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 have passed. And the reality is a lot of us can't go forward because we continue to dwell on things that have passed and that are over with, you know, and, you know, we need to be grateful for, you know, those who have given their lives, those who have paid the ultimate price, um, you know, for our freedom, you know, especially those here in the U.S. where, you know, there are many people that go through life, you know, feeling like their ability to choose and their ability to do what they want to do is a birthright. And everyone has not, everyone doesn't have their freedom around the world. Everyone um, doesn't, everybody wasn't born like that. You know, there was some sacrifices that had to be made. There was some blood that had to be shed, you know, for us to um, enjoy what we enjoy in the midst of all the economic turmoil, all the um, all the the civil unrest, and we just have to be. We have to continue to. We have to show an attitude of gratitude, you know, because even though we have a long way to go, um, we have come far, and you know, right now. You know, I'm actually on my way to spend time with my little sister, uh, Amber, who is 19 years old today. And, you know, we have been able to, um, we've been, you know, trying to have lunch because, you know, she's a freshman in college. And, um, you know, despite certain things that, you know, she may say that I deem questionable. I am very proud of her because um, she has a great head on her shoulders. Um, she is going about her life. She has a plan that, you know, where she wants to go in life. And the thing about it is to be able to do what, you know, she's doing and go forward with what she's, you know, uh, going to accomplish it's a result of those who have came before us and those who have you know have paid the price who have laid the foundation for her to be able to uh, go to school and you know ultimately be successful in in her um, in her life endeavors you know and you know I'm just thankful for that you know and that's just something that we have to realize. You know, so as I as I wrap this video up and, you know, it, it's not, you know, it's it's just, it's, it's a video where, you know, you just really have to look back and reflect on, you know, how far you've come, you know, because, you know, as long as we have breath in our body, our journey is not complete. And so there are things to be learned. There are things that um, can be you know, that can be, uh, there are lessons yet to be learned. And so on this Veterans Day, you know, regardless to what you do, whether it's, you know, your barbecue, whether you spend time with your family, whether you relax or, you know, whether you sit up and watch movies all day, you know, whatever it is, you know, be thankful for the fact that you even have an opportunity to do that because of the blood, sweat and tears that were, you know, shared by the men and women who serve in our armed forces, those who have uh, given their lives. You know, I have family members that have served in our armed, armed forces, you know, that are, you know, that have died, you know, and, you know, gone to glory. And, you know, I'm mindful of that. So um, when you think about that, when you come across that, you know, you really... Uh, develop an attitude a gratitude and you learn how to count it all joy because um, there is someone that's living that has it worse off than you do so 
Enjoy this Veterans Day. Spend it with your friends and family. And I will talk to you soon. Peace.